What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You're watching the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope you all had a good day. I hope you were short and you cut your calls if you had them. All right, let's take a look. We had the composite off about 1.6%. Dow Jones Industrial closing off about 0.96. Uh, you had the E-mini off about 0.96% as well. Trading, uh, well, the spot is trading at 577.79, off about a full percent uh, as well. You had the Dow, excuse me, the dollar off about... Um, Good Lord, Jacob, just calm down. Up about 0.2, trading at 104.38, really on that strong counter trend bounce. You have the crude oil off 1%, trading at 71. Same with copper, uh, silver off about 3.4, gold contract off about 1.070. Of course, you have Newmont coming out with earnings. You have IBM as well. We're gonna follow that and kind of cover it uh, tomorrow. Disney doing all right, trading at 96.24 GE, um, up a little bit after kind of a tough day yesterday. And let's see, anything else kind of interesting? New scale getting hit there. Loose it off about 4.6. Let's check our boy Rivian so I can cry in bag holder. Off about 4. Point. <laughs> That's okay, 3.2% closing. Um, someone asked me to look at, I'll probably have to do this a little bit more tomorrow. Someone actually emailed me yesterday, I had to get to it, uh, to look at CRISPR, and I didn't like the stock at all. You know, you have this pretty strong trading range, you're getting 45 to 50, and we're off about 4.25. Uh, I will go over it tomorrow, uh, but I cannot see a, a reason to invest in this. You had some of these private equity companies who were like, ah, oh, yeah, we see like a 100% upside to this stock, or giving that price targets even up to $120. And uh, I don't see what it is about this company that is appealing. They don't own the patent CRISPR-Cas9. It's the guy who works there, right? Um, yeah, excuse me, the woman, that's my bad. I know she used to teach at Berkeley as well, uh, Jennifer Dodina. And they have what, like one therapy, two therapies that are out? They have some in the pipeline, but, uh, so the biggest one is the sickle cell disease which is $2 million for the treatment, that's approved. And then thalassemia, which is you start making weird hemoglobin or not enough hemoglobin. And that's equally as expensive. It's kind of cool that it's kind of in vitro, which is nice, in vivo, excuse me. Um, but I can't see anything about this company that looks appealing. So if you know something, I don't. Send me a text message or email me, but we'll cover this tomorrow a little bit more. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. Take care. We'll be on tomorrow 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien and Basil, Steve, Larry, and myself. Take care.